Hello you legends, how you guys doing? Welcome back for another vlog. Today we're gonna just have a day, sort of a London day in the life kind of thing. Taking my daily driver and talking about my upcoming Alpine rap, talking about a lot of the hate I've been getting. Also just going to wash the car, going to lunch, like standard sort of stuff. But I want to show you a few things I've just gotten from my room. Um, now the light here, it's like a really horrible day outside so the light's not very good. But I just got some gadgets. I love gadgets and I just got some new gadgets for my room so check this out. I know a lot of you maybe have this and it may seem pretty sort of standard but I got so excited about this. I've got in like an LED light strip which I need to attach a bit better which goes all the way around here. This is the hay for Lord Hamish outside my chicken. Uh, in case you don't remember, here he is, a little clip of him. I am the one, the way your son don't need a gun to get respect upon the street. Lord Hamish loving life there, but yeah, this is the setup, the desk, and then I got more LEDs behind here, behind the TV. Yeah, I'm loving, loving living in London, loving this room, and I'm finally sort of feeling at home here. But let's go outside, let's go to the Kia, and let's get this day started. This is, of course, the car we're going to use for daily driving, the Kia Stinger GTS. I've still got this beast. I've done a bunch of, like, full videos, reviews on this car, so you can click up in one of the corners to go find that right now. It is absolutely filthy. The wheels are completely dark. I need to get it all nice and cleaned up, but right now it's time to go to lunch with some of my uh, friends' family, and then we are going to go and wash this car and kind of do some daily activities. So let's hop in and get started. Yeah, it definitely needs a clean. I just haven't been in London and haven't been able to clean it properly, so it's just gotten dirtier over the time. But let's hop in, uh, start it up. And we're good to go. We are now driving around London. This is where I've been driving this car pretty much all of the time. It's got over 10,000 miles now since I got it brand new as a loaner from Kia. And I've said it before in the other reviews I just mentioned that I, I do genuinely really like this car. However, for cruising around in London, it does have a few issues. It's very big. And which is great if you have a family, like if I had, you know, three kids and I could put them in the back and all that stuff and I needed to use the boot all the time, it'd be great. And I've needed to use the boot for moving a few times. But in general, for me, as a daily driver in London, it's a bit unnecessarily large. That's what she said. <laughs> which is annoying in terms of like parking and just navigating through all the traffic and stuff here. It's also not great on fuel, not necessarily surprising. It's a 365 horsepower twin turbo V6. But, you know, I, I probably get about 311, 315, that's very precise, it's because of what I said there, miles uh, per tank, which is not great for like an 85 pound tank or something like that, 80, 90 pound tank. All that aside, you know, I've got my Waze on the screen here because this guy's got Apple CarPlay. I've got my heated steering wheel on, heated seat, and for things like that, it is brilliant uh, for daily driving. It's very, very easy to drive. It's exciting, but doesn't get too much attention, so you can still just cruise around in it uh, normally. And, uh, I, I really genuinely like this car. Now the question is, Kia have now contacted me, um, potentially wanting to have the car back. It's been a year now, so obviously at some point they're gonna wanna have the car back. Uh, I'm talking with them about potentially keeping it a little longer and doing things such as wrapping the car, because I think if we wrapped it, it could kind of give this car a new life. Um, so I don't know where we stand with how long I'm gonna keep this car at the moment, but we'll see, and as soon as I know, I'll let you guys know. Parked up. We're ready to go. We're on uh, King's Road in London, in Chelsea, where there are a lot of cool cars, so we may end up crossing a random cool car. We've got this like, little Hummer, uh, but I love being in London. Although this, if you don't live in London, this is your classic London weather. Look at this, Grand Cabrio. Maserati Grand Cabrio. I do like those. Very good looking, very good sounding car. That is a bold spec for Bentayga. Cheeky GT3. Very nice. Lots of cool cars here. Oh, and a, yeah, nice. Anyway, so I'm done with the car spotting and I'm about to start eating. That's what I want to do right now. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yes. It's time to begin. Whilst we're in the Kia, speaking of daily drivers, very badass Bentley Bentayga right there. Time for a car wash, guys. We're going to clean the inside of this car. We got Mark in the back as well. How are you doing? Wonderful. Wonderful, yeah, that's what we like, the energy, I'm loving it. <laughs> and there is any, there's no energy. Hello guys, my name is uh, Sebastian Delaney. I'm doing the YouTube. If you like the video, please leave a thumb up and tell me what you think in the comments below. <laughs> and now we're gonna watch some cars, because I love cars. <laughs> There you go, you said it all, lads. <laughs> there it is, the Mentega. It's actually a really bad aspect. The rims are massive. And I mean, the wing, you don't need a wing, do you? But it does look cool, doesn't it? This is not really your standard crossing, is it? Rollerblades? Maybe we should open a rollerblade channel. She does not look stable. She does not look stable. 
Are we gonna get a full? Oh, 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 nearly. I'm such a prick. If it was you and, and that you're watching this now, I'm sorry. I'm glad you didn't fall. You guys like, you fans of this car? It's okay. <laughs> you like this car? Who, me? You, well, no. Yeah, I'm, I'm having a nap now. Oh, all right. Okay, yeah, good chat, lads, good chat. <laughs> I am intrigued to see what Kia say about if I can keep this car or not, because obviously that changes everything in regards to getting a new daily driver. Um, and that's gonna, you know, if I keep it, it's not gonna be for that much longer. So the question of a daily driver is gonna come up very soon. What daily driver should I be looking into? Now the last uh, video you guys maybe saw with the Tesla Model X, that was the first sort of research doing into that. So if you guys have any other London daily drivers you think I should be looking into, please comment down below and let me know which cars you think. I am seriously considering going electric uh, because it just makes sense in London, financially, congestion charge, parking, everything. It makes sense. Although today's Sunday, so no congestion charge. But hey ho, you know what I mean? Like, I'm seriously considering electric. Let me know what you guys think. But we need to try and start looking into a new daily driver. All of a sudden, my boy's washing the car. I don't even know what's going on. We haven't even gotten out of the car. He's just... Now we can't get out because he's spraying us with a massive water gun. Future reference, does anyone actually know like a proper, you know, car wash in London? Because we've just come to, you know, the first one we could find. All right, well, we're getting soaked up now. This is happening. Look at this. I've just got a news on my Alpine wrap and it's going to be done pretty soon. And uh, you guys all voted and what we're going to end up doing is not taking one of the single votes we're going to end up taking sort of a, a mix of uh, a lot of the different things that you guys voted for and commented so you'll see it should is one of those like it's a bold rap it's hit or miss like it will either look awesome or it could go horribly wrong so i'm hoping dub customs will will do well if you haven't seen that video again i'm going to put a card up so you guys can see it should be up in this corner i believe um and then you guys will be able to go watch the vlog of us dropping it off and it'll be done soon so i'll give you updates but uh yeah, it's all very exciting. Well, Rodrigue's holding the camera now. I figured while we're waiting here, I might just answer two of the most commonly asked questions on my channel. Do you guys have any questions that you see I get asked a lot that you think we should answer? Mm. I mean, one of the most commonly asked questions I get now is why do you get so much hate? I mean, I have been getting for a while a lot of hate since I stopped making videos as regularly, regularly, but regularly. And also because I was a bit unclear about the move to London. I didn't really explain what was going on while I was moving to London. Moved out of my parents' house into a house with a friend and then moved to London. It was all over the place. But you know, I think it's a mix of being a, young in this industry, driving some decent cars from time to time and being from a background where I, I grew up in Monaco, which was just the way it was. But, you know, I, I've spoken about it loads of times before. You guys can probably find all the videos or there'll be people commenting down below. Um, you know, I've explained my whole situation in regards to, you know, leaving university and, and, and my parents and things like that. So, um, yeah, and I, I just think it is a mix of me saying, oh, I'm going to do more videos and then not doing more videos and things like that. So I completely understand it. Um, and it's part of the game. You're always going to get hate. But I do really, really appreciate everyone who um, who shows love in regards to the hate and comments like that. So, yeah. Oh, we need to move forward. How am I going to do this? So that's my opinion on the hate. You know, I, I get it. There are some valid points. But um, some of you show so much love in those comments. And thank you so, so, so much for that. Why did I buy the Alpine? I've already answered that. I did a whole sort of video on that. Um, is this my car? Do I own this car? No, I do not. It is a loner. And then what, what am I doing on the side? You know, I'm working with B and Get, the company, which I've spoken to you guys a lot. We have a lot of exciting news coming for that soon, uh, hopefully with international expansion, because a lot of you wanted to buy tickets, but you weren't in the UK, so you couldn't. So uh, that's, you know, going to ramp up the work a lot in terms of B and Get. And it's a really exciting project, which so far, Touchwood is doing well. You guys have been amazing for all of the people involved. Thank you so much. And uh, that's a really exciting one. So that's another you know, conversation on the side of what I'm doing alongside YouTube. There are many other things, but it's just to give you a short little answer. But yeah, I figured during a vlog, answer two questions. I'll try and do this just during vlogs once in a while. Just answer a few questions I see popping up a lot. Um, so you guys can know. There we go. Right, and we're home. Back in the setup you're going to get familiar with in my room with the lights. Uh, and yeah, LEDs still going strong under there. And I just want to say thank you guys for watching a uh, standard sort of London vlog. I am currently editing um, alongside with uh, Nick, a driver Cole who's helping me with some editing. 
I'm editing uh, the Desert Tour videos. So those will be coming very, very, very soon. And we've got a bunch of sort of fun stuff planned. And the Alpine wrap being revealed very soon. Thanks for watching, guys. As always, please remember to subscribe. And I'll see you again in the very near future. Cheers. Bye-bye.